Hi, I'm Dr. Shweta S. Paul. I work at Dr. Sani Medical Center, Bellendore, Bangalore. When it comes to commercial creams, they have various toxic substances in it that people don't realize are put into these creams. Now, examples are mercury, steroids, um, parabens, which are preservatives and perfume. All of these in larger concentrations or if they're used over a long period of time can be toxic to the patient or can cause local uh, side effects such as you know, pigmentation when it's supposed to actually reduce the pigment. The actual whitening agent uh, substance that is there in these uh, commercial creams are at a very small concentration because they're not allowed to have a larger concentration. And because of this, uh, maybe it might work for some people, it might not work for some people. So it's very variable as to whom it works for. And once again, because these substances are questionable, uh, it's always safer to use a doctor prescribed uh, fairness cream. When it comes to doctor prescribed fairness creams, we always have to uh, follow a certain regime. You can't just give a cream and tell somebody to use it for the rest of their life because they are after all medication and they do require to be regulated. So you, we always prescribe a drug and explain to the patient what is there in that particular drug and how they should use it. If they use it for a prolonged period of time, again it can have side effects. So it's always better to consult someone before using a fairness cream because they will explain to you how to use it to in, or, in order to avoid side effects associated with fairness cream. Now the constituents or the ingredients of these doctor prescribed fairness creams are usually uh, hydroquinone which is also seen in many commercial products but they are not supposed to be used in commercial products, those are illegal. Uh, secondly it is kojic acid, mulberry ag extract or arbutin and vitamin C and various others. All these have to be put in precise concentrations into these creams and are given to the patient at particular times of the day depending on whether it reacts with the sun or not. And overall these have a much better effect than the commercial ones. It's just that awareness is low so once again do consult your dermatologist about fairness creams before buying an over-the-counter commercial cream.